Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm back, kind of. I'm back in moderation. I am slowly getting back to filming videos as I continue to heal from my recent plastic surgery. I still find myself to be very tired and very fatigued. So my content will still be a little bit more sporadic, but I'm trying to get back to filming videos a little more regularly. I've missed you guys. And I know that you guys have really, really missed my videos. And I need to get back to normal life as much as possible while I'm still recovering from my plastic surgery. Speaking of plastic surgery, the vlog will be up on Sunday. I know a lot of you are really excited to see that plastic surgery vlog, so stay tuned. It is coming your way this Sunday. I will also have a grocery haul for you tomorrow. I plan on doing a meal prep, providing I feel well, and that video will go live on Monday. And of course, I'd love to film a what I eat in a day and kind of get back to as much of my regular content as I can. But I thought, what better way to return from plastic surgery besides with the weigh-in? And I wanted to share with you guys, what does my weight look like after plastic surgery? With all of the swelling, all of the torment to my body, what does my weight look like? I actually have weighed myself every day since returning from Mexico for plastic surgery. So I want to share with you guys kind of what that actually has looked like as the days have went on and where I am weight wise today, Friday. And then of course, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what my week has been like. And of course, talk to you about this week's WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I typically upload five videos every single week. Turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I've lost almost 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, links, discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's talk about my week since returning home. Let's talk about my weight and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. returned home from plastic surgery on Monday. Now I spent four days post-op in a recovery house in Mexico, which was the best decision I could have ever made. Much better than a hotel. I actually had 24 hour care with nurses that administered my medication. They actually prepared all of our food for us, got us comfortable and were there if we had any complications or needed anything. So that was definitely a good choice on my part. Not to mention it allowed me to recover just a little bit before actually having to fly home. Now, it was a rough recovery, I'm not gonna lie. You'll see the entire process in Sunday's video, so I don't wanna go too in depth into it in this week's weigh-in, but let me just tell you that there were parts of the plastic surgery that were better than I expected, and there were parts of the plastic surgery that were much harder than I expected. And I anticipate this to be a pretty long road to recovery. This week has been a little bit rough, just with soreness and being a little bit uncomfortable both with my back and with my, my breast augmentation and implants, and just navigating how to deal with post-op after plastic surgery. I came home with my drains, which is something that I didn't want to do, which I talk about that in that plastic surgery vlog as well. So this week has been just a week of readjusting. I can't tell you how happy I am to be home. I've actually had to sleep on the couch since returning home. It's just not comfortable in my bed. I have to be able to be propped up, but also kind of lean forward and lean back throughout the night to allow myself to get comfortable with the incision across my back. So it's just been, I would say honestly, just a week of adjustment. Adjustment. But to be honest, I'm ready to get back to normal life as much as possible. Unfortunately, I'm not able to drive for a couple weeks. I'm not able to be in the heat or cook for a couple weeks. So that's also been another piece of adjusting. But that's what weight loss journeys and life is all about. It's not just smooth sailing. There's ups and there's downs and life throws curveballs at us and we have to learn how to navigate that. And I am the epitome this last week of having to learn how to navigate that. And you know that I'm an avid worker workout person. I work out six days a week and I can't work out at all from anywhere from about four to eight weeks, just depending on how my healing goes. So navigating food and what food choices to make and how to set that up so that I can maintain my weight during recovery. I also don't want to lose all my lean muscles. So focusing on protein. So let me just tell you, it has been definitely a week of discovery. I was thinking about filming a post-op 
video for you, letting you know kind of what to expect post-op plastic surgery, what were some of the things I struggled with, what did my weight look like, what did my mental health look like. Let me know if you guys would be interested in such a video. And if you are, I would definitely be here to film it for you and share my total post-op experience with you as well. When I got home, I had to make sure that I had everything I needed in place for recovery. I cannot lift my hands above my shoulders. So I wear a lot of zip up types of jackets and sweatshirts since I can't put actual shirts over my head. And I need to have really good supportive bras in place as well. I have to actually wear a post-op garment for about a month. And then I still need to have very, very supportive bras for about six months after surgery just to make sure that everything heals correctly with my breast implants as well as my breast reconstruction. It is a long process of healing six to nine months before they actually look and feel the way that they should. You guys know that I love Nador. I have bought Nador products so many times. I have so many of their stick on bras. I have quite a few of their regular bras. So I decided to place an order on the website to set myself up with some really good quality bras for once I'm able to take off the actual support garment. So I actually picked up three bras. Well, actually one of them is a bra and panty set and then two additional bras as well. So I wanted to share them with you because if you're like me and you either have your breasts maybe not looking the way that they did prior to losing so much weight or you had plastic surgery on them and you want to support them or you just want to support your breasts so that they don't fall based on gravity, Nodor bras are some of the best. They are my favorite bras. Like I said, I purchased from them several times in the past. So I knew when I wanted new bras to add to my collection that Nador was the way to go. I love how all of their bras come in these little zipper pouches. You can reuse these. Uh, as I always say, I like to take these for travel or to put wet bathing suits in. A lot of times I'll put like dirty socks and underwear in these and then I can put them into my suitcase, kind of keep them in one area. You can even store your bras in these. I actually store my Nador stick on bras in the little bags. So first is the two piece set. So this is the lace push up wireless bra set. I don't do wires. I've actually talked about that before. Me and wired bras do not get along. So I wanted something that would give me support, would give me some push up, but didn't have a wire. And I thought this was probably one of the most beautiful bras that I've ever seen. I actually really appreciate the more full coverage back. Like me, if your back is an issue for you, this is going to offer a little bit more full coverage and also is going to kind of keep everything in place. And the two piece set actually came with matching panties. Now these are full panties. So these are not thong, these are full panties, but you actually get the matching bra and panty set. So you actually receive the bra and the underwear. It is $59.99 before any discounts, and I do have a discount code for you. Comes in three colors, sizes, medium, large, and extra large. I have mine in a large, and it is perfect. The underwear are very comfortable. They actually have this band at the top that keeps them up, which I appreciate, and this bra. This bra is not only beautiful, supportive, but is very, very comfortable. This was definitely a great choice. And then the second bra that I picked up, I wanted a new black bra that actually fit me. And I wanted a bra that was a little bit more long lined, again, for that added support. And this is the Lace Breathable Push-Up Bra. Again, no wires. The inside of it is actually nude. The pads are removable. I like a good padding in a bra for the most part. And this one, the padding is very comfortable. I love the kind of black lace overlay over the actual nude inside. This is currently on sale on their website for about $33 before any discounts. It comes in three color sizes, medium through extra, extra large. I have mine in black in large and I love this. Again, it is so soft, so comfortable. I love the little scalloped design at the base of the bra. It's going to offer a lot of support. It's cute, which I appreciate. And the no wires is definitely something I'm looking for. And again, we have a pretty full coverage back. And then lastly, I wanted a sports bra. Once I'm able to work out or even start walking again, I wanted a flexible sports bra that offered 
support. And this is the Flexible Wireless Sports Bra. It's about $28 before any discounts. This particular sports bra does have padding. It is removable padding. It is a long line sports bra, which I very much appreciate. I love how thick the shoulder straps are so that it offers support, but doesn't dig into the shoulders. And then we are talking like full, full coverage back. Again, lots of support in something without wires. It comes in two colors, sizes small through extra large. I have mine in a large in the black. It fits me perfectly. And this is literally the most buttery soft material I've ever felt in a sports bra. And again, I love that there is padding and it is removable. If you are not a padding lover, you can definitely remove the pads, but I wanted that buttery soft, comfortable, full coverage, supportive sports bra. Because as soon as I'm able to walk again, like go outside and walk regularly, I plan on living in this sports bra. So as always, I love everything that I picked up from Nador. I will link all three of the pieces that I bought down below with a discount code for you. Definitely check out their website. I love their stick on bras as well. They offer amazing support. They're reusable, easy to store, and great as we move into summer where we're wearing a lot of halter tops, spaghetti strap tank tops, tube tops, things that we don't want a bra showing, the stick-on bras are a huge game changer. So everything from the door will be linked down below for you. So before I talk about my actual weigh-in and kind of navigate you through the last few days of weighing in, let's talk about this week's workshop topic. And this is how to start activity. I have a lot of coaching clients that say, I am way too out of shape to exercise. I don't want to exercise. I don't think I can exercise. There are baby steps and things you can do to gradually move into moving your body a little bit more. This doesn't mean that you have to go to the gym at all. If you didn't know, walking is the best exercise for weight loss. So here's a few things to try. Prep your mindset. Tell yourself, just because I think I'm too out of shape to be active doesn't make it true. I can still move around. Pick an activity. Brainstorm a few that seem doable and interesting to you, then choose one. Maybe it's walking, Zumba, stretching, Pilates, or cycling. Plan your moves, then do it. Least each step involved in doing the activity. Think small and simple to start. Number one, try a five minute Zumba YouTube video to see if you like it. Number two, build up to a 15 minute session. Number three, sign up for a class and put your gym bag in the car the night before. Number four, at Attend at least the first half of a class to see how you feel. And lastly, complete that 45 minute class. Then you wanna kinda of pause and reflect. After mastering the first move on your list, recognize that you can be and are now active. Take that naysayer thoughts, then keep going. The big thing with exercise is finding something you enjoy. You're not going to stick with any type of exercise that you don't enjoy. I love going to boot camp. I love lifting weights in the gym. I love walking. So that's the exercise that I choose. But I will tell you that when I was over 300 pounds, all I could do was take a 15 or 20 minute walk. I still enjoyed walking, but that was what my body was able to do at that time. As I continued to move my body, as I watched my nutrition, as the weight came off, I was able to move a little bit more. So when it comes to activity, you don't have to go in head first. Take baby steps, slow and steady into activity. You don't want to hurt yourself either. You want to make sure that you have proper form, that you're learning proper techniques. Maybe taking a class is a good way to start so that you have the instructor there to correct your form and properly introduce you to that type of exercise. Start small and work your way up. Maybe you start with a 10 minute walk and then next week it's a 15 minute walk, then a 20, then a 25, then a 30. And before you know it, you'll be walking up to an hour. Include exercise into your daily plan. Make sure that it's built into your schedule. I go to work out every single morning. It's just what I do or what I did prior to surgery and what I'll be doing as soon as I'm able. It was just part of my life. It was just built into my schedule. And that's the best way to make whatever exercise you're choosing something that you're consistently doing and sticking with. I also want to share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, all movement counts in improving health and some is better than none. Number two, if you believe your fitness level can change over time, you're more likely to be active. And number three, breaking down activity goals into small doable steps can increase the likelihood that you'll start to be active and keep it up. It's all about baby steps introducing activity little by little. Find something you love, find something you enjoy because that's what you'll actually stick with. And remember, you don't have to go in both feet first, 
baby steps. Another really great topic from Weight Watchers, I have to say, I love that they are talking about easing into things on your weight loss journey and not feeling like you have to do everything to be successful. Let's talk about my weigh-in post-op. So I anticipated coming home and being up on the scale. I mean, I am swollen. I said the whole time I was recovering that, and I still feel this way, that I look like SpongeBob, like square, because I'm so swollen. My whole body is swollen, my back my abdomen, my arms were even swollen a first couple of days after my surgery. I wore compression socks up to the knee so my thighs were swollen. So I anticipated a weight gain and actually when I got home and stepped on the scale, I was up about five pounds which actually was a lot less than I expected considering how swollen I am and what my body has been through. There's inflammation, there's swelling, there's trauma to the body. And they say that typically 10 to 15 pounds post-op weight gain is normal. So I was happy to see that when I got home, I was only up about five pounds. Now I've been mindful of what I've been eating since returning home, really focusing on protein because I know that that's going to help me maintain my lean muscle while I'm not able to exercise, but also help keep me full and satisfied and heal my body. Protein is great for healing after surgery. As the week progressed, my weight pretty much stayed the same. I would spike up a few ounces here and there, but I always stayed about five pounds heavier than when I left. And actually when I stepped on the scale today, I'm up 4.6 4.6 pounds. So down a little bit, down about four, down about 0.4 from when I actually returned home. And I anticipate to see the scale up for quite a while while the swelling is still here. And you have to remember that they took skin off my back about one and a half to two pounds, but then they put implants in, which is going to balance out any weight loss from surgery. And then with all of the swelling and inflammation, I anticipate the scale to be up for quite a while, at least while things settle out. But I'll tell you that I don't care. It doesn't affect me whatsoever because I know the reasoning behind the jump on the scale. And I'm still really happy with my body, happy with my results from plastic surgery so far. It's going to be six months or more before I actually see the true results of my plastic surgery. I plan, of course, on updating you guys through the entire recovery process. I'll be sharing some pictures on both my Facebook group and Instagram. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and you're part of my Facebook group. And of course, let me know if you'd be interested in that video about post-op experience and like the highs and lows and what to expect. And of course, stay tuned for Sunday's vlog. It's a long one, so grab some coffee, grab a snack, and enjoy the vlog. I have my friend Amy in there giving you updates about her tummy tuck. I feel like I did a great job putting it together and I really, really hope that you enjoy it. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. Now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how have you been doing? How's your week been? How's the scale treating you? And let me know your thoughts on baby stepping in to exercise. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not, I'd love to have you here. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Nador will also be linked down below for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.